Kenji Kono is the Washington bureau chief of the Japanese television network NHK, and he joins us from Washington. Hello to you. And let me start by asking you, the incoming prime minister got his doctorate at, uh, in engineering at Stanford University. So he obviously knows um, a lot or something about the United States. Is there going to be a shakeup of the status quo when it comes to American-Japanese uh, relations? Well, I think there will be in the end, but uh, and I, you expect that uh, some kind of uh, new dynamism uh, between the two countries, but I don't think it will come very soon. The, first of all, the United States and also this new uh, uh, government uh, uh, both called the U.S.-Japan alliance the, so the cornerstone of, for the East Asian uh, peace and security. But this new uh, Democratic Party in Japan um, want to have a so-called equal standing, equal relations. And this phrase kind of puzzled the U.S. side. And this Democratic Party is also uh, want to uh, have a review of certain uh, U.S.-Japan military agreements. Uh, and this also makes some uh, uh, causes and trouble among uh, the U.S. Um, uh, Japanese experts. Now, what do you think is behind um, Hatayama's plan to uh, put an end to the refueling of U.S. ships supporting the uh, war effort in Afghanistan? Well, the Hatayama's party is not really, uh, they are against the Iraq war, first of all, and they are against using the military powers to solve the international affairs. Um, and that's why they wanted to uh, uh, stop the, the legislation to uh, continue the refueling uh, of, of for the U.S. warships in the Indian Ocean. But the question is, they, are, they still want to um, uh, work with the United States to fight uh, against extremism. So they have to find another alternative somehow to show that U.S. is, I mean, Japan is willing to uh, work with the Obama administration. Do you think that they will also be looking for another alternative when it comes to those U.S. bases in Japan where 50,000 American troops are, are currently stationed? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they, but they, they, their idea is, is to uh, uh, relocate one of the, the, the uh, bases out of Okinawa. That's where the, most of uh, the U U.S. bases are consolidated, um, concentrated. But the question is where they can move the, the uh, bases to uh, a, a somewhere in Japan. No uh, municipality wants to accept it. And so that's going to be the issue. And also this party has right-wingers and left-wingers, you know, the, all different uh, idea of people in terms of the national security matters. So the question is how they can consolidate their uh, policies into a national security, especially this base issue. And, and give us a sense of, I mean, he, Hatayama has this extraordinary mandate. How is he going to use it? I mean, for instance, the health of the Japanese economy has a direct impact uh, on our own economy in the United States. I mean, what kind of changes do you think that he will have to make to stimulate the economy and, of course, create jobs? Well, the, yeah, economy has been the biggest issue uh, for this campaign. And the Hatayama's party uh, promised to... Uh, to uh, increase the growth by, uh, by uh, for example, higher uh, consumption, uh, spending uh, uh, the money on, on uh, the social network and, uh, and also uh, in the rating of minimum wages and giving some uh, uh, children allowance for each family, so on and so forth. But the question is where the money comes from? And nobody has the answer. They haven't answered the question yet. So this is going to be the issue. Kenji Kona, thank you very much for joining us from Washington, D.C. Thank you.